Here's one indication too. It's snowing up in the Cascades once again. This is Timberline. There's the Bruno chair. They were open. They only closed on Monday, but good to see snow in the air and not rain. It's down to 33 degrees and that temperature will continue to drop overnight tonight and the rain will continue to fall. But notice where it's not raining. There's this edge right here where it's not raining to the west and that is slowly pushing our way. So it will dry out tonight. Southern Oregon also getting hit with a lot of rain, which is great news. Good to see that because they need the water as well. We picked up another 31 hundredths of an inch just since midnight, but in the last 24 hours here in downtown Portland, we had almost an inch of rain, so it's been a wet go of it the last 24 hours. Troutdale 35 hundredths of an inch to match Highway 35, right? And down in Salem, 76 hundredths of an inch. So really came down hard there. So where do we stand now in terms of the drought situation? Drought, uh, in, just to refresh your memory perhaps, is a long-term condition. And it takes a long time to get into drought. It takes quite a while usually to get out of drought too. In the Portland area, we're kind of on the edge of no drought at all here. Now you can see the yellow on the scale here. It's dry, but not drought. And that's the case for much of Northwest Oregon. Still some pretty bad drought uh, conditions east of the Cascades. So the rain that we're getting and the snow that will follow. Good news there. 55 is our high today in Portland. Down south, 63 in Medford. Klamath Falls, 64 in Rome, Oregon. That's the number right there that hit 70 this afternoon. Satellite imagery showing this weather system here. It's the atmospheric river. It weakened, but it didn't disappear. Still over us, but it is edging on down to the south and east. And there's two systems here that are involved with it. And this one is what we would call the kicker. It's going to kick this thing inland south and east. This system is going to bring some much needed rainfall to California and even Southern California where they're fighting fire right now. I think it's called the Jim fire down Orange County. So it's good that California will get some rain as the weather pattern shifts and, and sends the moisture in the cooler weather that way. Now look at the wind arrows. They're all out of the northwest tomorrow, which they have not been all week long. That's cooler, drier air. There are a few showers around early, but mainly over the elevated terrain, Cascades and Coast Range. A few showers are possible in the valley on Friday, but no significant rainfall there. And the weekend right now is looking fantastic. Look at the drying on Friday night, and that should continue Saturday and Sunday. And going forward from now, uh, through the weekend, only about a tenth of an inch of rain here in the northwest part of the state, but more to the south. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, but some peaks of the sun, especially later in the day. And there's our first 6 p.m. sunset of 2022 tomorrow. So days getting longer, of course. There's the Fremont Bridge. We are at 54 degrees right now, and the freezing levels dropped down to 5,300 feet. That, of course, is below Timberline Lodge, and it usually snows about 1,000 feet below the freezing level anyway. So we're getting snow in the passes at the moment. It's going to get a little bit snowier there tonight. Mostly cloudy and a few showers on the Oregon coast, but otherwise a good day. If you're going to go whale watching, much better than the last three days in the valleys. Rain ends tonight and partly sunny tomorrow, still making the low 50s. So even though it's cooling off, it's still going to be quite tolerable. Government camp 36 and barely making it up to 30 at Timberline and Meadows. So good ski day tomorrow. It's not going to be a massive powder day. But we get a couple of inches of new snow as things improve just a bit. Central and eastern Oregon, mostly cloudy and scattered showers, especially down south. And that'll continue on Friday. Southern Oregon getting more rain than northern Oregon. In the gorge, west winds up to about 25. And other than a morning shower, it becomes partly sunny. For Portland, the rain tapering off tonight. Whew, right, finally. And then partly sunny tomorrow with a high of 50. We go 51 on Friday. Sun, showers, but not much rain there. And then a dry weekend which is great to see. You always want to start the month with a dry weekend, right guys?